welcome to Morning Manna with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, my hair is growing back. And she said, the Philistines be upon you, Samson. And he awoke out of his sleep and said, I will go out as other times before and shake myself. And he wist not that the Lord had departed from him. But the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza and bound him with fetters of brass. And he did grind in the prison house. Howbeit, the hair of his head began to grow again after he was shaven. Judges 16, 20 through to 22. Not everybody understands how difficult it is to be in a position of leadership. It's always easier to be on the outside and criticize somebody else for doing their job, saying that you do it differently. Many times we see our brothers and sisters fall and we become ready to condemn them and to bury them. But only if you were in their shoes, you would understand why and how could that have happened. It's amazing to note that Samson was a judge of Israel. Samson was chosen by God and consecrated even from the womb. But yet we see Samson displaying a character that was not in line with who he was. Those who are born into privilege tend to become abusive of that privilege. Samson abused this privilege because he did not recognize what he had. In Samson's mind, the anointing upon his life was a right, but rather it was really a privilege. There are many of us today who fall into Samson's position. God has placed within us his gifts, but then we choose to do our own thing, go our own way. Samson put his trust in Delilah. One might ask the question, how could a man like Samson who did so many exploits be deceived by such a woman? One of the lessons that we can learn here is that we might be strong in certain areas, but then there are certain areas of our lives that we might not realize that we're just not strong in. Samson's mistake would ultimately cost him his life. How many of us have made some grave mistakes? We've done things that we wish we didn't do. We said words that we wish we could take back. All of us are prone to make mistakes. We're all prone to fail. When Samson should have been feeding his spirit man, when Samson should have been trying to get in a closer relationship with the Lord, Samson was abusing the privileges that he had. I submit to a child of God today, do not take God's gifts for granted. Do not allow that job to become more precious in your sight than the house of the Lord. Do not allow your relationship with your friends to take a greater precedence in your life than your relationship with Jesus. The awesome thing about our God is that he's a God of second chances. Samson made a mistake. This is what the Lord does. He breaks us down sometimes in order to bring things into perspective. While the enemy wasn't realizing, Samson's hair began to grow again. I submit to you that it was not Samson's hair that gave him his strength. His hair represent the covenant that he had with the Lord. God gave Samson another chance in order to be the judge that he should have been. And there are many who misunderstood what Samson did. Samson did not commit suicide, but rather Samson made a sacrifice. Samson chose to give his life in order to free God's people from bondage. Yes, Samson did have a mess, but in the end, Samson became a type of Christ because he was willing to make that sacrifice. The quote of the day, do not take the gifts that God has given for granted. God bless you today, in Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated.